no, it's gonna be down here, ain't it? I was not prepared for that. Hello friends, welcome back. We continue our adventure here with Moons of Madness. Okay, so I think we've got into a part in the story where we're reaching the end. I, I, I looked into it. There's only about an hour of gameplay or so. And uh, that tells me it's gonna take me roughly about an hour and 40 minutes to two hours. So I already know myself. It just kind of depends how quickly I go. Um, but we made a discovery at the end of the previous episode. It seems like the company's doing something... Um, <laughs> Fishy. I'm pretty sure it's full of corruption because what company is in at this point? And as you guys saw, we have the creature down here. Great. I was hoping not to see that bloody thing again, but here it is. Um, okay, let's see. Where are we starting? Hi, little plant. I shouldn't call you little because, um, you're not necessarily a good thing. The whole system locks down at the security camera spots. Oh. Maybe I can connect to it with the bio gauge. Connect the camera to the bio gauge. Oh look, we have another one of those. We bring you the horizon. Um, did it bring me the horizon? Well, it's actually not. Well, <laughs> I was gonna say, did they approve of this? But I guess anybody can say bring you the horizon, right? Because it's not bring me the horizon. <laughs> why do you? Why do you want the horizon for? Are you Jack Sparrow? You bring me that horizon. All right, let me connect to it. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera so it won't see me. Look, of course, I can't see my character. It's all blurred out. Right here. Yeah. Huh. I don't think I have to go in there anyways. Okay. Oh, secret keepers. Hmm, we're gonna find out all the secrets. <laughs> What are you? Oh, it's a, it's a. Ah! Oh. Ouch! Fuck. Can I take that? I like to smack some people. It's, a, it's a security. Okay, so they're really keeping their secrets secret, aren't they? Okay, I have to be on the guard of that. And whatever else is down here with me. Unauthorized access. Oh. Unauthorized access. Security on route. Please await the Security on route, my booty. Shane, we made it to the door. Uh -huh. Definitely not Orochi. It looks ancient. But they've been here. There's equipment near the base and there's a strange artifact on a pedestal. If they found a way inside, there's, there's going to be a record of it. I'll see what I can find out. How oh, weird. Uh, welcome, Dr. Novolka. Your laboratory has been prepared. Please proceed directly to room 7A. Your activities are being monitored. I don't know if I needed that or not. Hey, I'm excited to find out what the secrets were. I thought we were going to put on a new suit. I was so excited. Is this the same dealio here? Like, I don't know my character needs to know any of that, but I might as well just be safe. Huh, is that a circuit box beyond the door? Looks like it. Let me just see what's going on over here. So they did have robots and stuff. I do not trust for one second that you're down. Probably gonna be like uh, the Joes and uh, I see blood. Uh, from uh, Alien Isolation. Always pretending to be dead, but they weren't. Connect? Ah, uh, great. Oh my god, that worked. Yeah! Oh my god. Declan, there are layers to this place. It, an entire complex. I can't believe this was right under our feet. Josie was right. But Colbert knew. This can't be real. What are you... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Not again. So I'm right there. Let's move the camera over here. Stay right there, don't you dare move. Okay. Okay, <laughs> let me just keep looking. I probably have to connect to something. Stop it!
They disturb the divine engine, disrupt the barrier, seek a well of knowledge that swallows off. Out the airlock they went, fragile minds scattered to the vacuum, extinguished by the breath of the moons. We're not doing this. Was that the lady that we kept seeing? The witch. Oh, it started moving again. Let me connect to it. Keep your head on the other side. Unless I have to go there. Ah. I'm gonna access every lap computer I, that I can. She was down here a lot. Ah. How can I make it to the other side? It moved, it moved! What do I have to do? Look at them eyes. A little bit spooky. Oh! Oh, I have to go over there! Okay, 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 okay. Let me see if I can get it to look straight ahead. I'll stay like that for a second. Don't touch me, don't touch me! Thank you! Crouchy, crouchy? Dead. Dead end. My character keeps complaining, man. We just shut it. I keep hearing things. What was all of this? They didn't know there was robots. I forgot I can't jump. Oh, the laptop. Computer. Keep going. Remember about the. Uh... Don't touch me! I'm gonna have to move this. Where's the door at? Ah, uh, that's the door. Just keep it over there. Hey! Up in the dot! Ah, here we go. There we go. That turned on the conveyor belt. I should be able to get through the room next door if I head back. Yeah, just look just look the other way. Okay, this door's not gonna open. We <gasps> got that security one right there. That one's jammed. Look at the wall. Don't touch me, don't touch me! Okay, stop looking at your damn thing, man. How you doing? I've seen a movie like this before. Hello. I uh, just, you know, trying to make it through here. <laughs> Don't mind me. Man, I went from like it being almost a little bit paranormal to uh, alien to now like AI <laughs> and robots and whatnot. I gotta squeeze through here. We're doing it, I guess. So I wonder, I wonder if they were trying to like combine the machines. Oh, I'm on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> anyway, 
anyways, like I was bloody saying before, uh, I didn't think I got that close to it, but apparently I did. The moment I saw that thing coming to me, I knew that was it. I was done for. <laughs> Get up. Thank you. I wonder if they were trying to combine the robot with, like, this thing here. Why am I suddenly so zoomed in? Okay. I that did it. Oh, this is, like, imagine... Imagine. You're... Well, we are a person. But that thing comes and kicks your ass. <laughs> it's like you're not supposed to be here. Time for a beatdown. Must be Volkova's lab. Here? Well, yeah, I can kind of tell. What were they trying to do? Ooh. What were you trying to succeed in? That's always somebody trying to prove their it father like wrong. gasoline and fertilizer. It's completely wrecked. Ah, another one. Okay, I began with Rizophora DNA, the possibility of creating decades worth of mango tree root networks within days or even hours, and the ability to control their patterns. One will weave a root network that would protect whole eroding coastlines from waves and storms. Today I made my first introduction between Rizophora and Z-Path, so she was combining things. It is the first time I've smiled in a long time. The warmth burns my cheeks. The places Z-Path can take us are boundless. I believe it is the key to reaching a place where we can swap sequences of prokaryotic cells, bacteria, and karyotic cells, plant and animal, as freely as Weaver splices threads on a loom. As the Sephora feeds the sea path grows more comfortable, I recognize the improper technology, but it is clear. Its movements are less erratic. It breathes calmly, slowly. The roots expand at a constant rate. The leaves extend and flex. Reactions to magnetic pulses are less severe. The metamorphosis is fascinating. Today I moved my hand. I reached out for an instrument that wasn't within my reach. I'm on sure as to why. There was no scientific impulse or protocol for it, possibly sleep deprivation. I reached to pick up a laser dial five feet away as naturally as if it were in my back pocket, but it wasn't my hand that grasped the instrument, it was the seat path. Two thin tendrils extended outward from the valeria blossom to scoop it up. The tendrils swiftly curved and extended through the air and deposited the dire dye in my hair and retreated. The velodrum, unable to extend as quickly, altered its steam structure, growing a thin vine-like piece which drooped to the counter as a tendril receded it again. I will attempt this experiment again tomorrow once I have rested. Even my sensibilities have limits and I question whether I dreamed the whole event. They infected mice, the enlightened specimen. The sea path makes them grow stronger. Just like the Nagrov tree, they voraciously search for food. They crave my affection, demand my attention like children, like pets. Did they snarl a look as when he kissed me? Not in front of the kids, I said. But they are not my children. Are they not all my children? The Rhysophora, the Valerian, Solenum, Lycrospectrum, Amophilia, okay, Wow, I can't say these names, I'm sorry. <laughs> they all shared in my blood, sucked the sweat from the tips of my fingers. I tell them how to grow and they stretch outward to the infinite. The connection is undeniable. I feel like this is where she started to lose her mind a little bit. Um, because she did start to call them my children, if you guys remember that when we were finding her. I don't know if somehow they get inside your mind. I, I still feel like it's a little bit supernatural. Betrayal. The sea path spoke to me today, not in words, but I felt it as it moved along the walls of Argus. I can taste the metal on my tongue as it slithered into to the cracks between the seams. I told it to stop it and it obeyed, patiently waiting for me to descend in the elevator. My daughter was excited to see me. It wanted to show me something. A computer monitor flashed and I saw Dr. Van Buren standing over the root of the mangrove, injecting a serum into it. My body shuddered as the sea path trembled. How could he betray us like this? We will make him suffer for this. Oh, that's why he ended up like that right? She grows so fast. Therophora, my child, she was so hungry today. The blood meal was not enough. Her teeth are so sharp against the flesh of my- I nursed her for an hour. My head swims. What the bloody F? A new project. I have made my decision. I can't understand why I hesitated so long. Why did I allow them to control me? I will escape this prison. Orochi seeks to contain me. Lucas destroys my children. The walls themselves betray me, moving closer, stifling my work. This frail human body betrays me. Tired, sleepless, and the muscles ache and twist. Security and nervous systems trembling so I can feel my heartbeat shuddering. My plants feel the vibrations, vibrations that travel in vectors 
our feeble senses have yet to even discover. They call out to me, my children. It has already begun, my child. I touched its hand in the blackness and circled my wrist. The sea path swirled in my system and it speaks to me in tones. It beacons me to the mangrove tree and there we will embrace. Together we will remove all impediments. The work will be glorious. <laughs> So that's what ended up happening to her, I see. I wonder if she tried to put this whole thing on fire. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, good for you, ma'am. I, I would not like any part of this. In fact, I would like to go home. I don't know what you were trying to create in the end, honestly. What did what does it all mean? You and this company? Ah. Oh my god, this is surrounded with them. Hey, 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 you stay in your post. Okay, there's another door over there. What is this supposed to be? Thank goodness the cameras are down. What was she feeding, though? Don't tell me it was that thing. The thing we're gonna have to end up fighting. There's another computer. You stay right there. There's something right there. Access denied. Okay, I'll take it. The CEO of Orochi? Holy shit, why is this here? Samuel Chandra, CEO. Did y'all never see him come here? Oh, you know what? I'm keeping it. Can you imagine the clearance of a CEO? Go to Akaras. That's not, that wasn't her father, right? Okay, let me see what this dude has. There's a lot of logs. Let me see, let me skim through them and I'll, I'll show you guys if there's something important. Okay, I think I found what we're looking for. Copy, we're at the device now. The network used an algorithm to brute force a solution. The key requires a high frequency vibration. Tune your bio gauge scanner output to 31 kilohertz. Got it. There we are. And we have an activated Martian artifact. We're in business, Shane. Nothing here says what the next step is. Yeah, you got us this far. We'll figure it out from here. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Shane. Dr. Shane Newhart, elite spy operative, taking care of business. Wait, did I... Was I supposed to do that? Declan. I'm standing by a window overlooking a room filled with pods containing androids. I thought it was automated sensors or something, but there must be hundreds of these things on Mars. What are they doing? Everything here. This is the hub of their Mars expansion plans. I don't want to, Mother. Please let me just go home. I wonder if they were just keeping tab on us. I have to get back to the elevator. Bloody balls, man. I don't know. I do not. I do not like that. <laughs> you know, I hate games where you can't fight back. That's what it is. And that's how Outlast was. Like, you couldn't fight back, so that's, that's the reason why I was scared. <gasps> ah! I'm stuck! Alright. You know what? Just like always, and like everything in every single game, we will take baby steps. I'm guessing that I have to go in nope. that direction. I can't move this one. I don't think I have a choice. Just go for it. Do you know how many there are right there, my dude? Are you out of your frickin' mind? Well, go where? Okay, you know what? I, if I die, this might be a checkpoint here. You're going so is a turtle. Ah, okay. oh, fuck! Why couldn't I just go the other way? I freaking knew we were gonna have to sneaky sneaky. Where I don't know what's worse, this or the the creature walking around. 
I am turning my flashlight in case it can see me. Can I scan where they're at? <gasps> I don't even know what I'm looking at. I just know that I need it out of my path, but the one that keeps walking is there too. I need a, I, okay, I can do this. I can do this. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, it, it's right there. I'm gonna have to time it where it starts going that way, and the camera's like somewhere over there, and I'm gonna have to somewhere go around it. To go over here instead. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I think I know what to do. Mama, oh, mama, oh, mama. <gasps> hurry, 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 hurry. gonna come back. I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, here we go. Uh, is there another one walking around? Is there freaking is? Yes, there freaking is. Yes, there freaking is. Don't see me. 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 Oh, it's just walking around in circles. Look the other way, goddammit. This is gonna keep me safe here. I think I'm screwed. Okay, so it didn't see me. Let me go back. Then I can have the camera be on the other side and quickly get to the other side. This is... Where am I going in here? Just for a breather? <sighs> I hope that's saved. But I do not want to do that crap again. Ew, 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 ew. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Is this not the way? I swear that's where I was before. Bring the horizon. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Yo, I don't know the way. Sorry. Let me through! Oh. Oh, this is the room with the thing. Right. Let me out! Alright, there is a computer here, so I should have access. Mom was approached by Orochi. They interrogated her. What else are they hiding in this Project Icarus? Did they find her research? Did they find her? I need to know. I don't know, man, but I sure as hell wouldn't stick around long enough to find out.
Okay, open the door. What do you mean by mom? Am I missing some things from the story? The whole system locks down if the security camera spots me. Maybe I can connect to it with the bio gauge. I'll meet you know. there. But there's something I have to find out first. <sighs> You're all alone, little one. Sometimes I feel alone, too. We're both alone here. Who the hell are you? Okay, what are we gonna find down there? Looks lovely. Quite the place. It's built like a bunker down here. <laughs> Center or uh... Declan. Declan? Of course. Alright, Shane. You got this, Chief. They hide like rats under the floorboards. Stick to your tentacles where they cannot. I have seen where they moved. Sending them like snakes amongst them. Scare me. What are they doing down here? Come on. I know you guys were doing something fishy. But I still My God. The terrorist complex. It's completely taken over. Kills! Seething tendrils of a hive ever expanding! Fools! They cannot be contained! Look for the command center. E. I'm fine. I'm a okay. Wow. These are giant uh, cactus cacti, I should say. Hi 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 hi. You watch your mouth. in here. More of the rock stuff. Okay. You always want to look at the computers here. Jesus. Orochi has leverage on everyone. Shane Newhart. Minor childhood trauma documented by licensed family psychiatric spirit of abandonment, mild social anxiety. Everybody had a little bit of something wrong with them. Where's the dude? Is he the final boss? I have a feeling he's the one that's, uh, the creature. Oh, fuck. What? <sighs> what you want? Uh, yeah, I can tell this is Aeon because a lot of crazy stuff's ha ah, More of you guys. I thought I was done dealing with you. This is something out of, uh, they look like, uh, what are they called? Like statues? What were you guys doing? Yeah, I remember something ancient they said. Huh. There's a lot of twists to this game. A lot of things, like I, I said, like robots. You keep looking. Okay, fine, look at me. Just, just don't touch me. There's also like uh, alien-like things. There might be some like... Um... Oh god, that thing grows. No, no, no. Don't follow me. No, 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 no. Bloody hell. Where is it that I'm going? Somewhere over there, huh? Yeah, you see? What you want from me? Ah, through here. Yes. Get down. Get back up. Uh, what is that? <gasps> what is that? That looks like a baby. I mean, it kind of has the body of a baby. 
She didn't give birth to this, right? Because she said she was nursing them. Did she? Did she do it for science? <laughs> okay. Maybe the thing is actually one of her babies. It's just in full grown size. God. What in the alien isolation? A list of protocol. Dead space crap is this? No, 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 don't touch me. Oh. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I'd smack you if I can. But you see, the game didn't give you abilities to smack anything. Unless it's part of a cutscene or something. Did it leave? I would just die. Okay, I reach a checkpoint. I love to see it. Am I back to the big? No, I'm on the other side. You see, this is why you don't mess with things, young. You're trembling. Let me swaddle you. Nothing. Stop it. Get out of my head! You could crack open your helmet like a walnut. <laughs> and my voices will sing. Not in the spaces we know, but in the truth. Only discarded pieces block the path. Rain synapses. Unanswered question. I like the voice actress for this. Yet. That's... That's all of us. The entire Invictus crew. Are we the originals? Or the copies? The story, or I should say the plot deepens, or thickens, Sorry, I keep trying to run, but... Subject... Wow... <gasps> they were making babies. And they were trying to mix it with that thing. I knew it. It doesn't end. Split from a single scene. Germinated. Scribbled on carbon paper, they multiply like vermin. Sentience is a glitch in the sensory organs. Pain, a cancer fed by reality. Who's speaking to us right now? Are we just imagining this? Or is it like a voiceover thing here in the facility? <laughs> Alright, it says experiment number 279, Project Ikeras. Again, I might be saying that wrong. I've been saying a lot of things wrong. We are experimenting with a substance slash phenomenon slash entity, oftentimes called the filth. What Dr. Volkov prefers to call the path. Each sample tightly contains and weakened with a particular regiment of radiation, as per the Ikeras protocols. The goal of this experiment is to see if the effect of this pre-natural containment are the same on clone human tissue and clone hybrid human tissue as on normal human tissue. If the effects are not the same, how do they differ? Today we applied minute amounts of the filth on cloned cells by using the safety protocols and observe. Effects were largely similar with the molecules of the contaminants attacking the cells. However, the process moved more slowly than observed before. The filth has escaped. I have sealed my safety suit and performed all the emergency protocols. I have injected the radiated serum as outlined in the procedures. The side effects are intense but mundane and far better than the alternative. How did this happen? There was no breach. I think the theory that the filth flows even dualates along dimensions outside of our perceived three may have merit. I have sent for help. I am trying not to panic. I am recording the findings of 
of this mishap affords. The voices continue. I ignored them at first, congratulating myself on my rationalism, but then the voices learned to mimic my voice and I thought they were me and I was the voices. No, that doesn't make sense. The radiation must be working. My limbs have begun to do things on their own, but only when I'm not looking. I have to stare at my limbs very closely or they misbehave. I've made a careful regimen of making sure not to look at any one body part for more than seven seconds. I have to keep watch on them, except for my right arm. Good arm. I am a scientist. Scientist. Cut off arm today. Right arm. Good arm. Only uncorrupted part. Pristine. It will be pristine forever. Stored good arm in morgue. Code 9510. I'm a scientist. Will lock myself in padded room. Everyone in safe. Scientist. It seems like they went crazy on the keyboard. 9510. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna have to remember that? Who was down here? Huh? This is sick. This is very sick. And now this reminds me of Callisto Protocol and probably all the other sci-fi games where they're always trying to- f They find something and then they try to mix it. And eventually with the humans. 9510. Let's not forget that, please. Don't come alive, please. I- I'm on- I don't want to get close to that, actually. I'm on your side, okay? Now I'm starting to think that the thing was one of us. One of the clones. Number sees their meaning. So you're the voice, huh? Are you gonna start mimicking mine? The morgue. Oh. Alright, we got nothing. Oh god. That's disgusting. A tactile tool, tender. Shut up. Untether. Put, put it back. Put it back. Why are you in there? Okay. Thankfully, it, did, it didn't attack me. I'm adding the arm. The good hand. Or the good arm, I think it said. It is this way. Ah! I nearly forgotten what we were doing. Oh shit! Come on! Uh, uh, come on! say that. Eight-headed monster. If I've ever not liked the name of something, that's it. Locked in. What are they keeping here? New Eden. Orochi is planning on building a city here. A failsafe. There is no escape. The dream will consume them. They are inevitable. Oh my god, this is a cult. A new Aiden. We've seen that in uh, uh, Far Cry 5. Did you know they were a bloody cult? Okay. You know what? I'll bring those whole place down. Even if it means bringing myself down. The CEO of Orochi was here. It makes no sense. Um, it's probably a four-letter word. 
I should look around for some clues. Meeting at 512? That's oddly specific. Figure out a bloody password. <laughs> An emergency failsafe if Project Eclipse is released. If I can lower the shield, I can get out of this room. So that's what happened. They shut it down once, I guess, the Crano crashed. They already lost control of this place, though. I'm getting out of here. I wonder if those consoles have anything to do with Project Eclipse. Activate the... How, sir? Ah, do this. Here we go with the codes. Use the last. Communication with the dreamers requires the sensory deprived environment to review. Use these settings lighting 20, sound 100. No, you know. Okay, I just realized they're up there. Okay, now I gotta do the, the last part here. Oh, I gotta be fast, okay. Authorized message pounding muffled talking. This is Trevor Graham, commander of the Crino One, an AMP fighter systems, and we are currently hurling towards Mars at approximately 50 meters per second. Fuck protocol, fuck Orochi. It wasn't hours after they sent us the coordinates, and I can see it in everyone's eyes. Dr. Barduri drew the short straw when the heat shield controls malfunctioned. We're not equipped for a mission like this. Commander knew it. It was a fucking support crew, but we followed protocol. After 20 minutes, he stopped responding to comms. We tried to rule him in, but his face when he turned his entire mask was covered in blackness just a spider webbing of black oils across the entire thing and leaking out into the void it cracked straight through the fucking helmet constant grabbed his arm and that shit it crawled up his suit wrapped around squeezing itself inside the pounding the airlock i couldn't let them back in the infection just being near it made my temples they're all infected oh my god and our friends are over there excuse me where am i supposed to go now the other computer it's a good thing I read that. That didn't work. There's gotta be a hint somewhere for the right setting of these documents. A hint, you say? Okay, I think I know what it was. Was it... 512. I thought it was 516, but I had to double check. He said it was very specific. You know, that could be their code, like, the meeting's up 516. 512, sorry. therapist's office. I can still smell the musty leather sofa in the corner. My parents took me here when I started having night terrors. 
I understand that some might consider my behavior obsessive. Yes. We may not agree on the finer points, but I can't let it go on any longer. Not like this. My father. He always used to say, Cynthia, your brain has its own mouth, and all it does is devour books. I was insatiable. I learned to see data where no one had ever thought to look. But I never thought it would consume me, strip me of my accolades, that it would affect my son. I can't keep doing this. That second mouth in my head, it just keeps eating. It will never stop. I... I know how that sounds. Okay, we're gonna dig deeper into his, um... Uh, I guess his issues that he had. Okay, let's see what it says. New patient, Shane Newhart. Seven-year-old male with mother Cynthia reporting night terrors with complex hallucinations. He claims to remember every detail. Mother encouraged him to describe the terror and so he did. It is made of vines, tendrils, and teeth. He emphasizes the teeth with human hands and a face. The vines emerge from every shadow and fill the room, twinning upon themselves, eventually crashing him to the bed. All the space that remains is a small dark tunnel through which the creature stares at him from across the room and he can see it through his eyelids and his face inches closer minute by minute but his mom always wakes him up before the teeth. S becomes extremely distraught and the rest of the session was spent coiling him. For any chance to develop a rapport with him, I'll need to see them separately for several sessions. Call C to set up a time next week. Discuss home life, school performance, and her concerns, etc. Week 3. Shane's GP ruled out psychological houses for night terrors. Must be related to anxiety, a lot of tension in the newer house. S may be genetically predisposed. Today he showed me the handheld chess game he played during recess. Smart kid, but needs help with his confidence. Meanwhile, Cynthia remains a challenge. She answered my question about S, but was reluctant to talk about herself, insisted I wouldn't understand. As I encouraged her to give me a chance, she succumbed to a associative episode, which we talked about at a length once it's passed. She called it seeing through the eyes of elsewhere. We will have to revisit this next week. I convinced her to see me as a patient. Huh. So our mother had issues too. Seems like I have to leave. Can anyone tell me how to access the space between dreams? Between dreams. Excellent try, Gloria. However, while the roads of Agartha do traverse the vastness of time and space, the corridors between dreams are a separate sort of passageway, and the two only intersect in very rare places. Wander it in time, that's by our mother. Spaces between the walls of sleep. Don't tell me this whole thing was a hallucination. Oh, I can't leave yet. Right, the door got- it's gotta open for me. Ah. That's very cutting edge, Adam. And while the full answer to that is quite complex, that is still incorrect. What a distinctive answer, Rupert. That is an interesting theological paradox, but it is wrong. The dreaming ones were, the dreaming ones are, the dreaming ones shall be. Not in the spaces we know, but between. They walk serene and primal, undimensioned and to us unseen. They can teach us deep knowledge, secrets past the skin of eternity. 
<laughs> Are you gonna open now? Thank you. I love I'm what you've done with the place. Noticing that it's happening. Yesterday, I saw a light streaming through the kitchen window. A moat, illuminated, suspended in the air. I spent the remainder of the day in my office researching. I've been accused of isolating myself. I, I merely am who I am and have always been an isolate. Isolated by knowledge. Imagine discovering a dictionary of new words to describe the universe. Words that no one else could ever know. The promise of limitless knowledge to an insatiable mind. Is it any surprise I struggle with domesticity? But I had to make a choice. I'm sealing it away. I have to try. Shane is my universe. Yeah, it's one of those lights again. I want one of these. The lamps. The ancient looking ones. Kind of. They're like from the 60s or something. Alright, it's week 14. Uh, patient functioning continues to fluctuate. She is managing to find relief from auditory hallucinations by isolating herself in basement. So that was our mother we kept seeing. Because we were in the basement, right? And she was scaring the hell out of us. Symptoms wane enough to attend session today. Wash hair in basement, utility sink apparently. Manages to take care of Shane during dissociative periods. Wow, she was having a hard time. See twice trailed off into almost nonsensical babble. Claims to have had a lot on her mind with the upcoming publication of the latest book and is not concerned. Not my first patient with such challenges. But for some reason I feel out of depth here. Thinking about referencing her to someone else increased doses in the meantime. Shane is apparently doing well with support from his school counselor. I'm sure he's glad to have his Thursday afternoons back. Yeah, this would be messed up if we imagine all this. Unless the plant is making us think about all this. Eee. Oh, it's this bloody book again. Once you open the book, it's already too late. It's always too late. Mother, please stop it. I know that's you. Orochi contacted me this week. They've approached me several times in my career. They knew about the Red Planet. Twins. They suspected a great many other things, but they kept their cards close to their chest. As did I. Shane saw inside the book. Just a glance, and it was enough. They could never know. They would do anything to pull them into their fold. And that's why, Doctor, if I found out that Orochi approached you, and you told them what I've said, you'll find out just how dedicated a lover I am. Forgetting that damn door opens. Okay, so that was our mother. The one that we kept seeing, the witch. Well, I don't even know if it was the witch. Maybe everybody was seeing something different. But the lady we kept seeing, that was our mother. Week 31, it has been some weeks since I transferred Cynthia's care to a more experienced clinical. I can't stop thinking about our final session even though my notes are sparse and the diesel's hazy. Ever since, there has been a nogging at the back of my consciousness, a deep anxiety I can't shake. I find myself jolting awake after mere minutes or failing to sleep entirely. I know something is watching, I see it flickering and my periphery. We see it too. Remember I mentioned it at the beginning? I thought it was part of the game telling us like what we had to focus on, but apparently it's something deeper. And it's still there at the bottom. Do you guys see it? It's kind of like... <laughs> it slithers in the split between seconds. It thinks I don't see it, but I take the dreams for myself and will tell them. I will have to suspend my practice until I figure out what it wants. Ooh. And mess with you too, I see. George? No, what was your name? Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Stop it. You keep to your bloody self, you hear? You haters. Hi, 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 hi. Stop it. Go back. Oh, 
mother. Why are you doing this? Oh, mother. What has they become of you? awaken. The moons bend above us. It is all but a brilliant equation. Please, I need you to help me. I thought I am. I was. I will. God damn it! Who are you? Your mother. Shane. I'm sorry, Shane. I've made so many mistakes. You were never supposed to be here. Not Mom? Why are you... How did you get here? My curiosity led me here. The pages of the Necronomicon revealed a mathematics I had never encountered, and a pathway to the dream world. I didn't know that once I made the choice, I could never return. The decision has weighed on me ever since. Wait on you? Do you have any idea what that did to us? To Dad? When you left, it broke him. We searched for you for years. Shane, please, listen. Has it been you this whole time? In the base, haunting the crew? Driving us crazy with these nightmares? Stop! The struggle tears at my soul. It takes every ounce of concentration I have to remain here. I need your help, son. We must act quickly. When the ship passed between the moons, the twin dreamers were disturbed in their slumber. All the chaos you've witnessed, the filth, that creeping horror is only a fraction of the destruction that it can bring. If they corrupt the engine, the moons of Mars, the dreaming ones will awaken, and they will devour all of reality. You left me. You left us for a delusion. What the fuck do you care about reality? Reality is where my son lives. What do I need to do? Find the Gaia engine. I will help you do what must be done. Help me, Shane. Help me undo what has been set in motion. Please don't leave again. Don't worry. We'll solve this. Together. Taking the elevator and I'm out of here. Oh, actually, I isn't that the same that she was saying? I just click a button. I don't know. He knew which one to click. <laughs> wow, I'm really questioning whether all of this is true or not. What was that? Come on, sh shake out of it. Wake up! Oh, 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 shit! Shake it, shake it. Shane? Declan! Sorry, uh, I, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, there's so much more down there, Declan. Clones, mind control, the dreamers, the dreaming ones. Declan, we have to find the Gaia engine. It's the only thing holding them back. Everything, the, the, the filth, the, the nightmares, my, my hallucinations, they're connected. We need to find the engine. Okay, 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 Shane, slow down. We're inside. You need to get here as soon as possible. Hell if I'm staying here. We have to find it. Okay, okay, we'll find this machine. Because as much as I don't have any idea what you're talking about, it makes more fucking sense than anything else that's happened today. Where do I have to go? I wonder if the creature is gonna try to stop us. Are we going outside? I'm putting this baby boy on. Alright, not running outside again. Oh crap. 
His heart is beating fast, my dude. You need to you need to hold, calm down. I mean, it's kind of hard in a moment like this, right? I'm assuming I'm taking this. I gotta find the engine, right? I really like this thing. I don't know. I like all like the space and the window. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, has it been proven that you can actually breathe the air of Mars or no? Because I, I sort of seen it in movies where you can, but in some you cannot. Oh boy, where are we going? Oh my god. I'm arriving at the door now. It's <gasps> massive. It's a thing? Yeah, these stone carvings must be thousands of years old. The records of excavation you found in Argus? This must be the place. I'll meet you inside. It's out of the pictures. What was the last thing that happened? Like the two moons looked at looking at us, right? Is that how the game's gonna end? Well, oxygen is at a hundred. Good. Oh, that's where they are, right? They're inside. They said. Yeah, this is the gates. So maybe we didn't imagine it all. light and power brings, there is always someone or something that wants to claim it for their own. I craved it. The knowledge consumed me. And I learned and I saw. These murals, Shane. It's a warning they left here long ago. If we let the filth take over the Gaia engine, the universe is left to the whims of ancient beings awakening from a million years slumber. You and I, we are the final guardians. We must repair what has been broken. The reality will cease to exist. There's something under the ground here. It's, it's shifting through the sand. Get off the Why sand, Declan! Get all the way over there. Oh, shit! Keep moving! Keep fucking moving! Why didn't you guys wait for me, you fools? I told you we were marked. We were the chosen ones. Well, our mother said it. Well, I'm not scared of her anymore, knowing she's our mama. She was an asshole, though, to give me those jump scares, so... I won't forgive her for that. You thought you were funny, huh, mama? The engine! That must be it! It doesn't look... It doesn't look like any engine I've ever seen. I'm coming! Wait for me! Hold on! What is this place? They found it! They found the engine! Cross the threshold. You must reach them. Uh, open sesame? Oh, is this one open? I can feel it crawling underneath the stone. Runes. A language. 
A key, maybe. Their eyes, they are forever open. Never blinking until they crack like eggs and reappear. Eklund, snap out of it! Here, take this. Uh, what am I supposed to do with it? I don't know when we're gonna find the next one, so... Just in case... Y'all, I have a feeling we're really close to the end now. Why did these fools... What did you guys do? Something's crawling in the sand. Shit! What the hell is that thing? Ah, it's Jerry. Jerry. Oh, Jerry. You wanted to get the last word. The Harry sand is shaking. And on me. Not good. Not today, Jerry. You hater. I guess looking at you now does nothing, huh? Screw you, Jerry. God, is there two of them? There's two Jerry's in here. I'm gonna have to make it to the other side. Here we go! I feel tremors. What are these? Get up, get up! Symbols. Language. An, an unlocking mechanism? Declan, what are you doing? That. That did something. Holy shit, it's spinning faster. It, it's working! Oh my god. Do that again. Gotta get off the sand! Is Jerry still following me? I'm gonna try to barricade the door! No, it's already here! You can't! You fucking bastards! You're gonna have to tear me apart! Josie! Oh my god, Josie! <laughs> Hold on! Ah, oh, you guys are fools. I knew I wasn't gonna see anyone alive. I didn't anticipate for the the lady to be my mama, but she <sighs> the immaculate machine. I remember reading about this. Where are you? Oh my god, we got demons. Are you guys the, the what are you guys called? I forgot. The immaculate machine. I hope I don't have to fight those things. What is that? The moons loom above us, drawing closer together with every second. Got it. She's telling me to hurry the F up. It's not wasting no! time, John. Josie! <gasps> Can you guys let it go, please? All right, don't listen to me. I don't need it, but I might need it. <laughs> Where's the other guy? No, 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 no. Declan, Declan! Oh. Fuck, this can't be happening. Shane, listen to me. You can't trust her. She isn't, she isn't who you think. And if she is who you think, she doesn't deserve you. They told me to load it into the Invictus. The failsafe, you know. They said I'd know when to use it. They said I'd know if I should. Well, it's now, Shane. I won't be coming along, buddy. Save the world, man. And tell your mom to fuck off for me. And he's dead. Oh, shit, Declan. I'm sorry. I was too late. I'll finish this. This is the end. 
You can't let your friends die in vain. You have to complete what they have started. I cannot do it alone, Shane. My form, it shifts in the in-between. I will guide you. Be my hands. I'm ready. themselves into the ether, tear at the fabric. Okay. Oh, I gotta do more of these. I don't know. I, I can't seem to understand why. Ah, uh, it's this one. Okay. Then the last one here. It's gonna be that one. Do not spoil my son. Just one more. I'm going, Baba. I was just wondering if um, I'm doing the right Do thing it, here. Shane. You are the key, wondrous light. Return for us. Bridge the dimensions. I gotta do all three. Shadow. Repair the drifting, shining, luminous. Do you hear it singing? It sings, Shane. I hear something in the distance. Feel it. The energy. It's weakening. Um, like There's I was trying to say, Mother, you keep interrupting me. The moons me. must not align. Go, my son. I wonder it if I'm shines doing the right with thing the brightness here. of infinite knowledge. Do not fear it. No, your friends. They died to help you finish what they started. I feel like she's tricking me. Kind of like she's she's making me do what she wants, and it's not what we're supposed to do at all. He said to not trust her. Oh no, my oxygen! Oh balls! It's in place. I hope to God this works. My sweet boy, I'm so so. Jesus! What's happening? Time has come. It was inevitable. We were too late, Shane. The engine cannot contain the dreamers any longer! Run! Before it consumes you! Run! of the game.
hobos and demos. We must close the rift, shut the gate. Chase, you are here for a reason. You were marked, sent here, chosen. I don't know what's going on. It's all falling apart, everything. What, what do I have to do? To the moons. You must go to the moons. There is no other way. Fly to the stars, to where the Cyrano broke the barrier and slipped from the sky. Oh wow, this is the first time we've seen it dark. Where's the moons at? The bloody moons that cost everything. Wow, I didn't even see that there. I was like, this doesn't look like where I exited. Well, I guess it is. I do not want to go through that. Somehow I had uh, less than 20% and <laughs> I had 80 all of a sudden. <sighs> I guess to the moons we're going. To the launch pad. The Invictus should be ready to fly. I believe in you. It requires sacrifice. Did we forget that our mama said that? Everybody's dead, y'all. It's just us now. And off to the moons we go. man on Mars. We definitely are. Oh my god, this thing's breaking down. Okay, do I have enough oxygen? Kind of. Alright, Shane. You can do this. First step, get to the command console. We trace uh -huh. their path. Complete the ritual. Escape Mars. Now yeah, let's get the bloody hell out of here. Alright. Goodbye, awesome rover. You are you are quell. Do I have to go in there at all? Looks like I do. I have to go activate. Something, something. got here before me. Not good. Okay, this... Don't tell me it's a plot. Hello? You're the creation, aren't you? Okay, yeah, I'm going to work. Hell? It's here. All right, it's going to be a fight between that thing and me. Trailblazer Alpha. Okay. Am I going to see it crawling down there? I like the music. Better not be crawling up there. What? Excuse I have me. to hurry. Woo! Hurry up, man. Hurry and then you turn around very slowly like God a turtle. God damn it! I hope I did everything I was supposed to in there. I didn't even double check. At this point, you fall down the stairs, okay? Or the ladder, I'm sorry. Hurry, hurry! Nope! Gotta get away from me, stay in. No! Not now! They're going to destroy the ship! You better jump the hell out then! We saw um... Shit! There's movement under the sand. Oh. Those things are back! You mother frickin' Jerry's! Oh 
Okay, just because Jerry might make me lose time. Come on, how did they beat me here? That's so unrealistic. How do I keep Jerry away? Look what they did to my robot. I was just saying. Rock, show me ah! <laughs> Jerry ate me. I'll let you quick. have that one, buddy. Ah. I see, I see. The rock should be safe. You bastard. If I can just make it to the rocket! They're almost like sandworms. It's moving! Run! Just run! I'm right here. Calm down. I just gotta get to the next rock. I have to be quick! Go away, Jerry! Go away! Shoot! If I can just make it to the rocket! You hater. I'm trying to get on. How do I get on? Oh, it's gonna be over here. Okay. It's moving! Run! Just run! <gasps> Almost got me, Jerry! <laughs> but not today, bastard. Go back to hell where you came from. And tell your friends I said hi. That reminds me a lot of the Kraken. Like the tentacles and whatnot. Some oxygen. Hopefully it's just that thing and I can leave Earth. I'm sorry, Mars. And um, nothing else is in here, I hope. like make it to the moon as well ah almost there almost out of here getting close just need a little more time I never thought I'd be leaving Mars this way. With everybody dead, and you being the only one? Lucas, Ina, Josie, Declan. This one's for you. Everything needs to be green. This is it. Mars sucks. <laughs> Everything needs to be green. Okay. Everything you are, just you alone. It's time, Shane. Time for what? Hush, my sweet boy. It's almost over. No! This is wrong! You want to release those things! They must be free! So that I can be freed! You destroyed the Gaia engine with your corrupted hands. Please, Shane, help me. I'm literally... Y'all were floating in <gasps> the moons. I'm ready. 
Mars sucks. dead. Low on oxygen? Astronomers continue to be baffled by the sudden disappearance of the moons of Mars. NASA has called a press conference to address the speculation that a manned secret mission to Mars. It was a secret mission. All right, Rock Pocket Games. That was quite interesting. Our poor character though, what a way, a terrible way to go down. Not being able to breathe and just die. I guess we're just gonna be drifting out here then, I suppose. <laughs> but all right, friends, I suppose that was our adventure here with Moons of Madness. I don't know if I understood the story 100%, it seems like our mother had issues and she also was contacted by the company and came here just like we were and she sort of went mad with whatever it was that thing was and it took over her mind took over her and i knew she was she was not on our side that wasn't our mother anymore we lost her a long time ago and well i suppose uh the same thing was happening to everybody that came here so this was probably the second secret mission that they had going on. And they were messing with that plant thing, which really ended up being the cause of it all. Took over everybody here. Took over everything, basically, because that, that, I guess, home that we had right outside the atmosphere blew up as well. It took over, and it crashed into Mars. We lost everything. Uh, I'm still trying to understand the hallucinations that everybody that wrote those notes in the very beginning. I guess they were just dreams and hallucinations or something that was trying to take over us or get us to understand. Why did it want to- well, I, I guess I don't understand why it wanted to take over or what it pur its purpose was, really. It was just a bad thing, I guess. A, a bad alien. <laughs> and of course, like, humans were always trying to uh, mix things that really shouldn't be mixed with or mess with. You know, you F around, you find out, basically. That's always the case. Nonetheless, though, the story was very interesting. It kept me in interested, engaged. I really liked how it was told. There was a mystery to it, and with it, a lot bit of psychological horror as well. Now speaking of horror, it wasn't 100% like terrifying, but it did get me there a couple times. It was more like it had me on edge. I was a little bit tense sometimes and I I, I, I felt like I went through it pretty cool because I, I kept talking to myself like, you're fine, just keep going. <laughs> But I thought it was going to be more scary. That that I did for sure, but it was still good nonetheless. And when it came to the puzzles, they were not too complicated. I, I just needed to really like look and mess around with things for me to get it eventually. And sometimes when they have really complicated puzzles, the game starts to give you sort of a headache. And sometimes the puzzles don't make any sense. Uh, but for these, they're okay in my book. I was also pleased with the graphics and the way that the game played. It wasn't too overcomplicated. The voice acting was really good. There was some really cool lighting in this. I also like the the atmosphere really because it was all you by yourself right you heard everybody else in the radios and you found things out when you read through them in the computer again kind of adding into the mystery and sort of making you question things about who you worked with and then the company that you were working with the moment they said it was very secretive that kind of raised a red flag to me not only that but i think i'm starting to understand that the first group of people that our mother was with were the people in the desert right because that what happened to our team here happened to them as 
as well. I'm kind of just putting the pieces together right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like one of those games that kind of doesn't answer all the questions right away. And you kind of have to think back on things. And for example, they sort of told us what was going to happen when they showed us all those pictures that we found with like the timestamps as well. So yeah, I enjoyed the tension and the mystery and the way that the game played and the tiny bit of horror. And, and it wasn't too long of a game either. I think that was... Mwah as well. Now I think I was saying that uh, the the music in the background and the elements and you being by yourself is what really made it a little bit more tenseful because I always felt like I was gonna see something or someone which they did give you some jump scares like that and then you just never knew when you were gonna you know go in a uh, hallucination. We never ended up really speaking to anybody else but we did see them but we didn't really interact with them until the very end with uh, De Decand or I forgot his name already. <laughs> Sorry, pal. He's the only one that we really spoke to face-to-face-ish. -to -face but I mean, it makes sense, right? It's, it's a way for there to not be too much interaction. Also, I do believe this is like an indie game, so they have their limitations, all right? <laughs> but they were able to create the mood very well, and that's what I liked. That's what kind of had me on edge and wanting to know more as well. So overall, it's a very good game for me. I think it's a good one for the spooky season. And you know what? Our, our hero here, um, I hit didn't die in a good way. <laughs> but he died a hero nonetheless, and now we're floating off in space and hopefully nobody comes back to mars because i don't think it's gonna be stable without the moon or the two moons i should say and now i'm questioning what's gonna happen to our you know solar system here with mars kind of being out of whack and will that affect earth at all because i know without our moon we're completely effed you know but who knows if it's like that with the other planets but you know we're dead now so i guess that's not our problem <laughs> But all right, friends, um, I hope you like this one. I hope you guys had fun. I'll let go of your hand now. Thank you. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Do not forget that we take all kinds of adventures here. With that, friends, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next adventure.